Plans for a future family-owned business in Springfield are on hold for now. The old McDonald's building on MacArthur Boulevard and West Laurel Street caught fire yesterday. It was under construction to become a new cafe. WCI3's Theodore Kulvaris live in our Capitol Newsroom. Theodore, the family says they were just weeks away from opening. That's right, Brandon. The family says they were about three weeks away from welcoming customers. They say they're devastated, but they're not letting the fire stop them. The Asani family has owned the Chatham Cafe for eight and a half years. They've been working to expand their business into Springfield, opening another one on MacArthur Boulevard called the Capitol Cafe. And everybody kept telling us what a great job we did and how wonderful the place looked and how it gave a new look to that area. The building was under construction and was just weeks away from opening its doors to the community. But those plans came to an unexpected halt on Tuesday. I got a phone call from my husband, Kenny, at about 4.30 in the afternoon, about 4.20, something like that, where he got a phone call from the contractor um, that was working on the building and said that somebody had phoned him that the place was on fire. Um, we all rushed there. And this is the scene they found when they got there. Smoke billowed out of the building as crews worked to put out the fire. Law enforcement had closed off part of MacArthur Boulevard, keeping traffic out of the area. It was just shocking because I was there with my wife around 12 o'clock yesterday just to see how the place was coming along and then all of a sudden to hear that it's up in flames. So it was a little bit devastating, but we're not going to give up. The Springfield Fire Department says no one was inside when the fire happened, but the building suffered significant damage. The Asani family says it'll be costly to start over again, but they're hopeful for the future. It's a misfortune. Everybody was so looking forward to it. Um, we had a lot of customers, a lot of inquiries. Even to this day, I still get to this minute, I still had phone calls this morning, people wanting to make reservations for parties and get togethers and but everything's going to be put on hold for now. The family says they're not going to give up on opening the new cafe here in Springfield after they rebuild. The Springfield Fire Department says it was an accidental fire. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Theodora, thank you.